Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvana and today I'm going to answer the question how to become a better Muslim from my opinion. So, to become a better at something, what should you do? Ask yourself that question. The only answer to practice. We are not born with the knowledge of everything. But if you want to become better at something, you have to practice that. That means to become a better Muslim, you have to be a practicing one. You have to practice your religion. Imagine now a baby. A baby comes to that world without the knowledge of anything. It can't eat alone, it can't walk, it can't do a thing, it can't even speak, subhanAllah. Slowly, slowly, by the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and only with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this small baby grow into a person, uh, into adult and then he by with the time and with practicing, with practicing walking, with practicing speaking, that child could do all of that things. The same is with religion. You can't expect to be born with the with the taqwa, with the tawakul. It's not that simple. You have to build yourself. You have to practice your religion. So you can become con so you can become a conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you have, have you, you can have a tawakul, you can rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You just have to practice it and you have to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now here is the second thing. It's not just practicing. You have to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to believe that Allah will help you to become a better Muslim. So now how can you become a better Muslim? What should you practice? That's easy. Start from your Salah. The first thing what we will be asked on the Day of Judgment, it will be our prayers. Start with your prayer. If you are not praying at all, choose a prayer and start to pray it every single day. Slowly, slowly, start to choose a second one. After you choose the second one and you are perfect in that two prayers, Two are better than none. Remember that. We are obligated to pray five times a day. But now, if today you pray zero and tomorrow you pray two, this is better than zero. So remember that. You build yourself into your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala slowly, slowly. If you are down on the first stair, don't try to jump on the tent because you will fall somewhere in between. So, like that. You start slowly with your prayer. You improve yourself step by step by praying the first prayer regularly second prayer regularly third fourth and at the end fifth till you are, till you are perfect till you are perfect then try to busy your tongue and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time try to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during hardships during happy moments it doesn't matter what's going on around you just try to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it might be at first hard. Your tongue might not be used to do that. So put yourself a goal. Send a goal. Okay, today I'm going to say a hundred times astaghfirullah wa I'm going to do a hundred times subhanallah, hundred times alhamdulillah, hundred times Allah akbar, hundred times la ilaha illallah, hundred times la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Set yourself a goal. Even it's not a hundred times. Even it's one time. One time. Let that be the goal for you for that day. Slowly, 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 slowly start to upgrade yourself start to upgrade your uh, your possibilities you know like for example today you did two times tomorrow do four times you know and slowly slowly you will arrive at something better the first few days you will not see any difference but imagine every single day you do something more and more imagine one month imagine two months imagine in a year subhanallah that's how you become a better muslim for example you don't have money but you see somebody on the street it's suffering literally suffering and doesn't have food doesn't have roof doesn't have anything so and you don't have also but it doesn't hurt you to give a little from your piece of bread to that person that will elevate your status to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't forget what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the quran uh, not allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i mean uh, to save our from the hellfire by giving even half date in a charity subhanallah so you literally can save yourself from the hellfire if you give a half date in a charity so 
think about that if you have another things which you would love to share with me i would love to hear it in you in the comments down below and if you love my advices and if you like to support me don't don't hesitate to subscribe on my channel and yes uh if you don't know me my name is silvana i'm 26 years old i convert from bulgaria and i make a so, short reminders islamic reminders on instagram and tiktok as well so um if you don't have me there don't hesitate to support me also i will put the links down below and i hope to see you as soon there too and yeah just khairan for the listening may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all of you may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us do better and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of our shortcomings and unites us all in gentle for those assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh